That was this morning's symbolic bell ringing at Ground Zero in New York, each toll symbolizing the events of that historic day. Today marks 21 years since the September 11th attacks. Mourners again gathered at the scenes of those tragedies, determined to never forget the fallen. CBS's Bradley Blackburn reports tonight. The nation is now observing the 21st anniversary of the 9-11 attacks with rituals that have grown familiar in the past two decades. Memorials are being held across the country, the largest one again in New York. Friends and family of the nearly 3,000 people killed that day gathered in Lower Manhattan to pay tribute to their loved ones. Among them is Frank Siller, who has made it his mission to honor the victim's memory. We think about what their lives would have been if they were still here. Among the dead, Siller's brother Stephen. The 34-year-old firefighter ran from Brooklyn to Lower Manhattan while carrying 60 pounds of equipment. It's important that our children, our children's children, and then their children always remember what happened on September 11, 2001. Siller's family started the Tunnel to Towers Foundation as a way to channel their grief into something positive. Our family made a conscious decision after 9-11 that we were going to rise above it, we we're going to get off our knees, and we were going to do something to honor all those who perished that day. Today's gatherings have been scaled down compared to last year when large crowds turned out, especially here at the World Trade Center site, to mark 20 years since the tragedy. Vice President Kamala Harris is representing the White House at the event in New York, Precious while flies, President so Biden so attends the Pentagon ceremony. Gosh. And First Lady Jill Biden attends the Flight 93 Memorial near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.